Mm, that's the good stuff. All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am pleased to show you my newest RC. <laughs> yes, it's another plane. All right, so you guys know I went and flew with our friend Jeff in Alabama to teach me how to fly RCs a little bit better. And he recommended this plane here. So I took his recommendation, went ahead and got this. So this is pretty cool. It's smaller. So it's going to make it a little more difficult to fly in some of the windier conditions. But with its size and the limited area that I have to fly in, this is going to be a big help because right now where I'm flying is like a little running track. I don't have a lot of room, so it's been difficult to fly um, my apprentice. Especially right now while I am learning. Uh, I need to do something with this. <laughs> uh, you know, just trying to get that muscle memory and everything down to learn stuff. So check that out. It did come with the, it comes with a few extra parts. Which, hmm, I guess we'll just leave in here. This is probably how I will. Well, no, I won't transport. The, well, I will at certain times transport the plane like this. So, funny thing is, this is actually discontinued. They still sell the plane, but they don't sell the fully, the full kit like this. The full ready to fly, which includes the remote control and. A charger and the battery so yeah that's the battery this little tiny thing look <laughs> flies and that's it that's the charger right there so I'm guessing it goes like that and then we just plug that into a USB which I don't have out here look at that they even gave you some batteries for this and what's cool is now, you know, you still have like a travel case. So like if I go camping or something like that, I can bring this plane with me. And I see a manual down here. Let's get that out. Why'd they have to tape this thing? What a mess. Jeez. I'll browse that later. I doubt there's anything that anybody wants to see in there. Oh, look at that. So, uh, that's kind of... So, there's some tape right here. I'm not sure if it... If it stays on or does it come off? Huh. So, look at that. That is like the tiniest little servo I've ever seen. Wow. So this thing weighs absolutely nothing. Which is good because then you don't even have to register it with the FAA as any type of device. So like I said, you know, because of the lightweight, it's going to be more susceptible to wind. But it does have safe, which means it will limit how far it banks, how far it goes up and down. Uh, hopefully... I think I've kind of had some problems with the <laughs> my other my other plane because it, it sure did uh, climb pretty steep, a lot steeper than I think it should have with safe. But uh, the small environment that I have, it it's obviously. I mean, I've flown. I've flown the Apprentice there, and I've done okay. Uh, I've crashed it, <laughs> which I'm trying to uh, not do. I'm trying just to have fun and not wreck the plane. So, I'm gonna use this as a uh, trainer. You know, I could have spent, and it's it's pricey. It's like 200 bucks for. Um, a game that comes with a controller this was less than that and comes complete with everything so and it, it functions just like uh, 
my other plane. What the heck? Where's the battery connection? Holy. Wow, man, they have it uh, hidden in here for some reason. I'm not sure what the purpose of that was, but. That wasn't cool. Okay, so this is what I want to point out. So this works just like my other plane. So we have our aileron. Uh, we have our elevator. We have rudder. And then we also have our throttle. And then what you hear there is safe mode. So you will notice that this is a little different. All right, let's unplug this so stop making noise. So you will notice this is a little different, or maybe you notice that this is a what they call a tail dragger. So this requires you to come in more on the front gear, and then, and then even taking off, you should have that and then you take off so this is also a little bit different flying so this is going to take some getting used to also because there's different aspects of how this plane works so oh man i'm excited i think this is going to work out good for training instead of spending and this was cheaper than the training program <laughs> the remote and the software so this was cheaper uh, i think it was mentioned uh, this was discontinued right they sell, still sell the plane, but they don't sell the full kit. So I do what I normally do. I went online and I went and researched this. And Horizon Hobby sells it. They have an eBay uh, page. And, they sold, and they're selling them on eBay. So I went ahead and ordered it. So, because the uh, controller I have with the other plane will only bind to one plane and I don't want to keep trying to rebind every time I fly so I think it's like thirty dollars more and you get the battery the charger the remote so why not why not just do that it's either that or spend over two hundred and get a remote that can bind to multiple models of planes so, so far I'm liking it. It's going to be different when I go up there and fly it, but I think, I think we're going to have some fun with this. I think this, this should be good. Uh, with it being so light, I think it should be able to take a beating maybe and, and land and not get damaged. So, all right, everyone, I'm going to charge this battery and we're going to head out to the running track. Take this thing for some flights. Take it for its maiden flight. So I'll see you out there. All right, here for the maiden flight. I actually bought a second battery, but look at this. Even though they're both supposed to be the same battery, right? Look. Let's see. Why is one bigger than the other? That is so weird. Well, let's turn this on first. Make sure our prop is off. This remote does not have the safety switch to turn to make sure that that's off. Uh, man, it's a good day to fly. It's not a breeze to be had. So according to their instructions, they say put the battery back as far as possible for weight distribution. So. go and without any kind of uh, marker on here to, to tell Whew. all right now I can hand launch this thing it would be easy enough but uh, oh there's a little breeze maybe you can see So if I take off, see the wind's coming at me. 
So I'd really want to take off into the wind. I'm not sure how much room. I don't think this thing's going to need much room to take off. But I don't want to run into the grass. Well, I guess we'll just... All right, systems check. Okay, so wait a minute. This is... That gives you more control there, so that's the dual. And rudder. Whew. All right, Jeff gave me the confidence to do this. I wish he was here. I still get nervous about doing this, but Jeff gave me some training, so. Oh no. Look at that. That is not supposed to be doing that. That was not supposed to be flying like that. That was supposed to be in safe. Well, that was a short-lived flight. God damn, man. I guess I should have made sure flight. Did you see? You saw it was, it was standing straight up like that. Great. So this whole fuselage is. Oh my god. Well, that was probably the shortest lived flight in the history of anything. I don't even. I don't, I don't even think that could be fixed. That whole fuselage is just fucking jacked. That's freaking awesome. So where was safe mode? This thing should not have been standing straight up on edge like that and safe. And it should not have. Uh, and I forgot to hit the damn panic button. But look, there's my switch. All the way down to safe. I swear, man. Well, that is embarrassing. Uh, I don't get it. Safe mode was on unless... I guess you have to activate the prop and then... But as soon as I started rolling, it should have activated. But I don't know. I guess I should have activated the prop, let it sit on the ground, and then... Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Let's turn this on. Because I know my other plane, it makes all these noises. And lets you know that everything's activated. This thing doesn't do that. See, there's no... My other plane cycles through everything. See, right now, safe is off, right? Now, if I give it a little gas... Now, safe is on. Although for some reason now I don't have a rudder. Something in there must have broke. <sighs> and this whole motor assembly, this whole gear's cockeyed. So I'm probably going to end up having to replace the entirety of this motor. And probably the fuselage because I don't know. See, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know why is it when I give it elevator to... You saw that, right? I was giving it elevator and the ailerons were activating. Why? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. <sighs> now the wind's picking up. See? I had perfect condition, no wind. And then this thing just shot straight up into the sky. And I don't know, man, I need to learn to just keep my finger over here, I guess. And just if something like that happens, I have the panic. I need to try that and see if it 
recover but it started getting so close to the ground i started panicking i mean i was pulling back on this thing but i don't know i have to watch the footage again to see exactly what happened but that's uh, well i guess we'll go home and price out what a fuselage costs i mean it's like a hundred bucks for just a plane it'll be completely ready to go and i can just use what's left on here for parts or I might just might just because I'm, I'm gonna need a fuselage and this this whole gearbox because this this gear right here is bent i pushed it back so it would even engage but it's it's jacked up man it's, it's all wobbly it's not sitting in there straight i think this whole shaft here is, it's a miracle that i don't even know how the prop didn't break Jeez, man. You know, it pisses me off to watch these a couple of YouTubers. These are so easy to fly, and they just do like this. They go, ha, 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 look, and it's flying. Ha, ha, ha. It obviously ain't that damn easy. Because I went like that, and I gave it some some up elevator. And as soon as it went on, I, I let go, and I should have centered it, but it was standing up, so I pushed it down, and it kind of, but then it knows, I don't know. I don't know. But, but now the wind is here. Even this ain't bad. I mean I would it wouldn't keep me from flying. It's oh boy. Well, hope you enjoyed the shortest maiden flight ever of a trainer airplane. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel, helps the algorithm recommend this thing. So that way I can afford to buy more stuff to crash for you to watch. Everyone, thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.